All right, I'm working on this uh, 1939 Ford cab over. It's got the oval grill. I've had it for a few months, bought it earlier this year. Pretty rough when I got it. Um, rebuilt the engine that was in it. This is the engine, the original engine that was in it. I think at some point they changed uh, to a 59A block, which is the same. It's a, it has a 39 distributor on here. It's got the dual truck pulleys. Got the generator converted to 12 volts, rebuilt the carburetor, got a new fuel pump. I'm using a T5 um, five-speed transmission with a speedway adapter. This is the clutch bleeder hose there whenever I get my hydraulics hooked up. Got the exhaust started. I got these headers and kind of modified them to work. Cut up some pieces here and got the exhaust. I'll, I'll bring it on back uh, once we get a little bit further into it. This is a chassis from a Dodge D Durango 2002. My last one, my 42 cab over, it was a uh, 2002 Dodge Dakota. This is a Durango chassis. I have done nothing to it except change, um, I put on these. It, it just, I usually replace the shocks when I get a chassis. These shocks were really bad. Um, I have all these coilover shocks or shocks with springs just to help give it a little bit of stability. The other things I have done is I had to, I'm gonna paint this here shortly. I just got it welded in. Made it removable, this transmission cross member here. Some angle iron. These are the original holes for the uh, Durango cross member, but it's, that's what the original Durango cross member looked like, but it just doesn't work out. Um, anyways, got the cab mounts here. There. These are the original Dakota and Durango mounts are the same right here. I put this piece of one by three on, drill a hole where my mounts underneath here and here, so they line up. Replaced all the upper and lower control arms. I got the original brakes here. What I like to do is get some AN3 or dash three AN hose, run it in here up to my uh, um, master cylinder that I'll eventually install. I got the original calipers and rotors and all here. I did replace the brake lines up front, brake hoses up front. I gotta cut this bolt down for the uh, motor mounts. Uh, I got a uh, crab style electronic distributor from from, I can't think of the name of them. Stromberg. Anyways, this is a look at it. Uppers and lowers replaced over here as well. <clears throat> I went ahead and got a, a new rack and pinion because by the time you change out, the rack and pinion for these comes with the outer or the inner tie rods by the time you buy the tie rods and change them out on the old unit, um, you almost may as well go ahead and get a rebuilt um, rack and pinion, which is what I did this time and I did last time, so. I did have some trouble with the starter when we broke this engine in on my test stand. One of the bolts that uh, power Power Master put in was a little bit too short. Got that remedied though. I don't have the coil on here right now. Um, I'm gonna put the cab on first and make sure that it fits. Anyways, I think that's a, about it. This is a lot of work, kind of a short video, but it's a lot of work's been done to get to this point. Still got a lot of work to go. I think I have everything I need to get this build done. Don't know how long it's gonna take me. Um, shouldn't take too much longer, a few months, maybe. But anyways, again, appreciate you watching and uh, I'll keep up with the updates.